Hi guys, welcome back. We are working today on a 2010 Ford Cougar with a diesel particulate filter that's all clogged up and refusing to regenerate. Now, that'll be one of two things. Either this is full not of um, soot, but of ash left over from the burning process. And with the mileage on this car, about 120,000, that's probably the case. So I'm gonna try the quick fix here, uh, which is a chemical that you squirt in through a long hose with a diffuser on the end of it. If you can see the little brass attachment there. Um, all we need to do to do that is to loosen off and remove that temperature sensor there, the one at the front. And with that temperature sensor out, I can basically empty the whole can of foam into the DPF, leave it to sit there for a little bit. You don't want to do that hot, by the way. It's got to run, it basically be done cold. Uh, so I'll get that sensor out of there, um, squirt the foam in, leave it for a bit, and then run it through, see if that works to clear out the ash. And uh, if that doesn't work, then we need to look at the, the vaporizer. And the vaporizer is effectively a fifth injector on this car, um, and they do fill up with carbon. You can burn them off just using a, a blowtorch um, and a bit of pressure, uh, but we'll cover that if we have to. It's a real pain to get at. It's kind of up. up up underneath there. Uh, not impossible, but a bit of a pain. So anyway, going to open today by removing that temperature sensor, emptying a can of foam into it, uh, and then seeing if, it's, uh, if it will clear itself naturally. Passive regeneration, that's when the heat of the exhaust alone is burning off the carbon, does produce some smoke. Um, so I suspect it's probably the active regeneration that's the problem here, and a DPF full of ash, which this stuff should help with. Let's see how this goes. Okay, there it is. So you'll have noticed already that I've got a, a jack stand supporting the side of the car. Take no chances when you're working underneath the vehicle. All I need to do is loosen that bolt off there and remove the temperature sensor. However, they do usually rust in. You can see around the sides of this one it's rusted. So I'm going to give it a bit of heat first. I'm going to give it a bit of penetrating oil first and uh, we'll see how that does. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for five minutes and then loosen that off. Be super careful. New temperature sensor there is about 95 pounds. Okay, so I'm using an adjustable here to get maximum contact onto the side of that sensor. Just being gentle with it. And there we go. She looks nice. Now I'm going to put this in back finger tight. Um, it'll blow a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, so having loosened this off, I'm now going to take this to a place where no one's going to be bothered by the smoke, the noise of revving, or the... Uh, foam that this is going to produce and we'll get this loaded up uh, and let it sit for a little bit. Alrighty so here we are. This is cooled down now to finger temperature. I can touch this quite comfortably actually. Okay there's the sensor. A lot of carbon on that, so I think this, this really hasn't uh, cleaned itself out for a while. I'll give that a blast with some uh, carb cleaner in a minute, just to make sure before putting that back in. Okay, so with that removed, we just feed the, uh, the nozzle in all the way. Push it in as far as it will go. And then just empty the can into the thing. This is going to turn all of the ash in there into foam. You can do the same kind of thing with acid, with uh, something like Harpic 10X or whatever, if you actually remove the uh, DPF from the vehicle. But I don't want to do that because it's completely rusted solid and that would be a nightmare job to refit. So this will do us for now. I say just empty the whole tin into it. And then we'll leave it to sit there for half an hour. 
turn the engine on and see what kind of smoke and foam comes out the back end. Okay, now we've got two aerostates present here. Um, both of them relate to the same thing. It's kind of lightly disguised. Uh, and the issue here is that the vaporizer is uh, almost certainly blocked. So I shall uh, remove that from the car and I'll just show you a little trick here as to how you can actually clean those up. They're about 200 quid if you have to buy a replacement unit, even from an aftermarket supplier. Uh, so definitely worth having a go at this, but they just fill up with carbon. Anyway, let's uh, pull this off the bottom of the car and see what we can do. So that there is a 22mm compression fitting that holds the vaporizer in place. So what I need to do here is loosen that off. You can see it's very rusty. Try and focus on it. So that there, slightly out of focus but it'll have to do that there is a 22mm fitting. You can get at this with a long 22mm open-ended spanner. It is definitely easier if you remove uh, the cross brace and so on that's in your way, in which case there is uh, a series of bolts, uh, or nuts rather, to remove that. It's not the most difficult job in the world, so it can be helpful to get that out your way. Uh, but that up there is the 22mm bolt we need to uh, loosen off in order to unscrew the vaporizer. Okay, so here is the unit itself. You can see all the carbon on it. The bit that you're twisting is uh, a compression fitting that just wedges it in place. There you go. So you can see the problem straight away, which is that that hole on the side is completely plugged with carbon. And that is where the diesel is supposed to spray from this little um, injector type thing onto the DPF to uh, basically burn off all the crud that's in there. Now these things typically about 100, 120,000 miles will fail um, but we can uh, we can clean this up hopefully. New one of these is a couple of hundred quid so I'm hopeful that with a bit of carb cleaner, some heat and a bit of pressure we should be able to unplug this but that is categorically the reason why this DPF has not been recharging properly. Now I've just had a little poke around in here just with a uh, little knife there and you can see that it is in fact not that badly blocked I mean it was blocked but if you look closely you can see the diesel welling up so what I'm going to do with this still in the car it's a bit of a pain to actually unclip this all sorts of fuel hoses and so on I'm just going to very carefully toast this under the car um, and see if I can get it to burn off here Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have solved the problem because what that's doing now is vaporizing the backed up diesel. I'm hopeful if I just screw this back in, then that should have enough life in it to do the job. Let's give it a go and see what happens. Certainly, the fact that that was backed up and blocked is uh, consistent with the error codes that I was getting. Well, let's see what happens. This is why you need to do this in an area where no one's going to be offended by it. Okay, moment of truth time. So it has gone through and completed the uh, forced regen. I've got a bulb out on the uh, driver's door. Let's just have a look. Will the engine warning light come back on? And that's a no. So there would have been a red exclamation mark here and the uh, engine uh, uh, malfunction main message on the screen there. I think that's it. I'm just going to take it for a nice long run, see what happens. 
but it looks like the fact that the vaporizer hole uh, being completely plugged with carbon was in fact the source of the problem so uh, fingers crossed we are good to go i'll say i'll just take it for a nice long run assuming that you don't hear from me again in this video then this has in fact been a successful procedure so thank you very much for watching hope it's been useful or at least informative um, it's a bit of a pain getting the vaporizer out but it is totally possible just with an open-ended spanner and without taking off any of the cross members and so on i know because i've just done it it was a little bit awkward but completely doable so uh, as i say there you go hope that's been useful if it has please don't forget to hit like and subscribe and i will see you next time take it easy cheers